I find it hard to wrap my head around the scale of the human genome. Each of our cells has three billion base pairs. Which is to say that even though DNA is a microscopic molecule, if you stretch it out end to end, each of our cells has six feet of DNA in it. I actually find it a little easier when I think about how much of this three billion base pairs differs from person to person. Maybe like 0.1% or so. However, that 0.1% is still three million bases different from one person to another. So now let's say that one person has a genetic disease and another person doesn't. And our question is, which of those three million differences is responsible for that disease? And even if I had the entire DNA sequence of both of those individuals and knew where all of those differences were, it would be almost impossible to point at one of them and say, this one is the difference that's responsible. And so this week, we're going to dig into the ways that geneticists approach this question. We'll have a look at the structure of DNA and some particularly useful ways that it's analyzed, and then we'll study some of the common ways that people differ genetically. Finally, we'll briefly consider some of the ways that this information is used, and we'll actually return to study those ideas in much more depth later in the semester. First, we need to review some common terminology that we'll be using for the rest of the semester. 